All right, welcome back. We're joined now by the parish president of Terrebonne Parish, Mr. Gordon uh, Parish President. How are you doing today? Thank you for having me, Martin. All right, and I guess you can see the contingency <clears throat> of St. Matthew still with us today. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down to the floor. We're going to let Aiden kick it off for us and introduce yourself and say a little bit. Uh, hello, my hello. name is Aiden Woodfork, and I'm in sixth grade. Okay. Hello, my name is Rowan Dardar, and I'm in the fifth grade. Hello, my name is Henry Bourgeois, and I'm in sixth grade. Hi, my name is Sydney Sidden, and I'm in fourth grade. My name is Molly Diebold, and I'm in fourth grade. My name is Rav Bott, and I'm in seventh grade. Fantastic. Well, that's, that's some smart students right good, there. Did good, a great good. job. All right. Thank you all so much. And thank Ms. Maru and Ms. Kelly for, for bringing them in today. So, Mr. Parish President, let's talk first. I guess we could talk about COVID, uh, talk about hurricane, uh, a lot to talk about. Uh, not a boring administration by any stretch of the imagination. What's the COVID numbers right now for Terrible? Martin, we're, we're, running, uh, we're running about 10 to 15 positives a day, and as low as seven a day, so the numbers have come way down. Our hospitals have been running from zero to maybe four or five in the hospital. ICU is maybe one or two, so mm -hmm. on a ventilator, zero. In, uh, so the numbers have really gotten well. Of course, you have 40% of the people at Terrebonne Parish that have been vaccinated two times and mm -hmm. those numbers you know the rest of the louisiana is about 55 percent so we're mm -hmm. we're behind the, uh, uh the the rest of the state but mm -hmm. the numbers are holding very well yeah and and i know that's <coughs> been such a, a big thing and i know y'all gonna probably keep an eye on it during thanksgiving to see what the numbers do but do you, are you hearing from medical experts that maybe it's i'm, I'm still hearing it's very contagious but that it's losing its it's punch. That's the hope anyway, isn't it? Well, more than like anything else, everyone needs to social distance and keep, you know, wash your hands as many times as possible and, and you know, definitely don't drink after anyone or, or you know, just try to keep, as, you know, as if you're fighting the flu, you know, if mm -hmm. keeping away from the flu. I know we've all learned valuable lessons. I see you. Don't mind seeing what your Clorox wife <clears throat> when I'm doing stories out there. We keep the alcohol in the car when we get back in. Most of it's transmitted hand to hand, they say, most of the, uh, the virus, but it's just getting the good habits, isn't it? Yeah, Maude, just, you know, hygiene, just, you know, and, you know, it doesn't hurt to grab a napkin when you open the door, you know, it's because it does spread on doors. If you're mm -hmm. filling up your car, make sure you get a rag or something to grab the, the you know, the, the uh, gasoline or diesel uh, nozzle and uh, just, just be careful. Right. Let's, let's jump into Hurricane Ida uh, recovery. I know y'all been doing a lot of things. The cleanup has just uh, has been monumental. How many places y'all have actually cleaned up? Give us an update on the Ida recovery. Well, Martin, we have about 350 uh, these, these, these camp, camper trailers that's in place with about, we, I think we're getting close to 200 of them hooked up. That's not near fast enough. We have numerous tent locations that have, uh, you know, uh, plenty of uh, sleeping area for anyone that was displaced during a hurricane. Uh, of course, electricity was on within 28 hour, within 28 days of the storm hurricane. Uh, you know, between Sleeka, Entergy, and Homer Utilities, the linemen did a wonderful job. Waterworks did a great job within the same period of time, about 28 days. You had water throughout the parish, so we, we get we we got utilities back to people as quick as possible. As soon as the hurricane was over, with hats off to all the firemen throughout Terrebonne Parish. They cleared the road along with with some national guard, but the firemen really got out there early in, and along with a lot of volunteers, and the roads were cleared. And you know we got Terrebonne Parish back running again. You know you, you got to get your economy going. Mm -hmm. And, and while this was all going on, last week we had some big breaking news. The governor came to town, and we, we did that coverage. But you can't rest on the fact that water is not going to come back. Y'all did something about it, a big, 
a big grand opening last week. Yeah, Mon. You know, we 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 had the home home navigational lock system. We've been having the home home nav, the home floodgate, the Bubba Dell floodgate in place since 2013. It has stopped uh, 20 between 2022 20, hurricanes and storm waters from coming in. And of course, we we started eight years ago. We funded the uh, through CPRA Restore Act, which is BP fine money. We funded the lock system about four hundred fifty million dollars, and of course, we we went ahead and did the groundbreaking for it. And it was about five six years of engineering because they actually built a model of it. And I'm going to actually take the model and put it out in front of the government towers mm -hmm. to where where the young 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 children and Adults can actually push a button and see it operate because we, we went ahead and got the model shipped to us and mm -hmm. it's built out of aluminum. And this yeah. gate's gonna take about three years, three and a half years. And it's an environmental structure slash fre freshwater diversion, saltwater intrusion. It'll stop the salt water from moving north on just regular south winds. Right. Let's talk about, I, I, I was eating at the Tark restaurant today, which is a, a great restaurant. And still a lot of talk about uh, the Cocodri area in that area, but y'all have got some great plans working for that. We've learned. We've all learned from these storms. We never know what kind of tricks they're going to throw at us, but they do. But y'all have a plan. I'd like for you to maybe <coughs> tell us what it is. Well, during the hurricane, since the hurricane went to our east, we ended up with a, a 185 mile an hour, what they call a reverse head, which was actually a hurricane coming from the north, so to speak. And it, it threw a lot of water against two of our major floodgates, one being the Bubba Dove, the other one is the Cocodri floodgate in, uh, on Petite Caillou. And it, it, it taught us that we, we, you know, we, have, we have to uh, retrofit the Bubba Dove for a, what they call a reverse head. You know, we, we, you know most hurricanes, you're, you're waiting for the storm surge and everything from the south well, even though we knew of a reverse head, not, not, but nothing to the magnitude of, they had 18 foot waves crashing over the top of the Bubba Dove floodgate in the HNC, which is a, a canal. Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, I, we actually met with the, with the engineers today. We're going to, uh, they're going to bid as of Wednesday. They're doing an emergency bid and they're going to retrofit and put some 10 foot diameter pipes through pipes in the Bubba Dove to allow the water to escape when you have that much water being pushed from the north. Right, you know, we talk about cooperation. I've seen you and, and Archie do projects. I mean, we have to do projects together with Lafouche Parrot. But when you get all the players involved and the governor comes down, and I know you've been working since you're a state rep bringing monies into the parish. I mean, I, th I think <clears throat> at one point you had brought over a billion dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And, but, Governor Edwards has also pitched in quite a bit of money also. Martin, you know, all the way back from Kathleen Blanco, who, st who basically started CPRA, to Bobby Jindo, who really kicked off coastal restoration, and then to the, 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 the governor right now, Governor John Bell Edwards, it's, it's, he's really have given us a lot of projects. Bayou Shane for $80 million, that's through his administration. Right. Even we, we've been pushing it a long time, but the money came through. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the Grand Bayou floodgate, which is, which is $20 million, and of course now the Bubba Dove mm -hmm. lock system, which is $400 million. Now even though we started in eight years, you have to keep that money rolling through the Restore Act Council and to get it out. I mean, it, it never stops. Of course our delegation, you just had Tanner on, Jerome Zerang and Brett Lane, and they uh, they did a wonderful job with the rest of the delegation. And, and Bayou Shane, got to give a lot of credit to Brett Lane. I mean, uh, you know that me and you saw what that what those <coughs> waters, those backwaters will do, and this is going to eliminate a lot of that. Right, for, especially for, for for everyone sitting here, backwater flooding is when the Chafalaya is going so fast to the south to get to the Gulf of Mexico under what they call cubic foot per second. It does a 180 and comes back up through Bayou Shane and gets it to the intercoastal. Of course, the intercoastal comes all the way through Terrebonne Parish to Lafourche to, uh, to Assumption, et cetera. So this gate will block that water from doing, when it does a 180, from coming into the intercoastal. So it's a major, major project. And 
Brett Elaine was the one that stayed on it till he got the $80 million. Mm -hmm. and of course, it was through the administration of John Bell Edwards. Right. Well, let's talk about just, <clears throat> let's encompass the whole system now. When we look a year from now, two years from now, we're going to be pretty doggone close, aren't we? Well, Martin, since I've been in office, I've increased the, the, the pumping capacity of Terrebonne Parish by 60%. Mm -hmm. If you notice, we had 15 to 20 inch rain on this Ida and no one complained of flooding because the pump stations worked. Mm -hmm. We put up backup generators at all the old pump stations that didn't have it before, didn't even have the transfer switches. So all those, for, for 28 days, our pump systems ran on its own, whether it would be generator or diesel engine. And now we have the, the Morganza, which has continuity from, from Lafouche Parish all the way to Gibson, along with 13 floodgates. And, uh, and, and so at a plus 12, and we are lifting the, uh, the, the, uh, the levees. As we speak, they just lifted, uh, did a lift at, at the one by the Bubba Dove. Yeah, real quick, I know we have about 90 <coughs> seconds left, but tunnels. Everybody's going through the tunnel today, so that was all remedied, I guess. That, that, that was, that was uh, repaired by DOT. We've been complaining. Uh, Tana McGee and Jerome Zerang, I think, was instrumental in getting with DOT and getting that moving forward. As I, you know, and so uh, my hat's off to them. And uh, they had a water leak. has been leaking water, and I was really afraid it, it had a sinkhole developed under it, which it didn't. Mm -hmm. And they did repair that. Well, we don't know how valuable the tunnel is till we lose it, right? That's right. And the traffic was really stacked up. All right, so Mr. Parish President, we're going to go down <coughs> uh, on the floor to Mr. Henry Bourgeois for St. Matthews. And uh, Henry was so confident in the beginning, we're going to let him look at that camera over there and take us to the break, Henry. We will be back with Mr. Gordy Dove after a short commercial break. Very good. Good All job. Right. There you have it. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back with our St. Matthews entourage. We're going to switch them up. We have some members of the Homer Police Department coming in to give us some updates. It's all next. Don't go away. <laughs> 